Uh, let's have a look at other news today now. And Heathrow Airport's controversial plan to build a third runway has been thrown into doubt after a court ruling earlier on this afternoon. The Court of Appeal said the expansion was unlawful because it didn't take into account climate commitments. Heathrow is planning to appeal against this decision. The airport's chief executive told Sky News earlier that expansion is vital to the government's plans for a truly global Britain. There will be no growth at any airport in the UK unless we fix this issue. So it's in the government's interest to get on and make that happen. Grant Shapps, the Secretary of State, has been very clear that he supports airport expansion. He's been a passionate supporter of Heathrow expansion for many years. And the government understands that if you want to fulfil the vision of global Britain connecting every part of the UK to all the growing markets in the world, the only option in Britain to do that is by expanding Heathrow. The alternative will be that we fly, fly no further in the UK, but we fly through Paris to get to global markets. That is not an acceptable position for the UK government. Uh, well, Sky's Ali Fortescue joins us now from Harmonsworth in West London, which stands to be affected if a third runway is built. Um, it's interesting, isn't it? The government have said that they're not appealing this decision. Uh, so campaign is celebrating, but they might be muted because the Heathrow chief executive there saying they're going to take this to the Supreme Court. So it might not be all over yet. Yeah, I think there's certainly a sense that it might not all be over, but certainly I have to say the mood here in Harmonsworth in the last few hours since that judgment came out has really shifted. People here have long been campaigning for an end to the expansion of Heathrow Airport, and this does feel different. As you say, the government say they won't be uh, appealing. The case has been dismissed explicitly on climate change grounds, which hasn't happened uh, before. Yes, Heathrow say that they do want to go ahead with this, but this certainly does feel, I would say, like a fork in the road for the people who've been campaigning. To give you a bit of a sense of the impact that the expansion would have on this village, you can see uh, the road behind me and what is quite a uh, quiet, relaxed village. All these houses would be uh, totally flattened on this side uh, of the main road at the end if that expansion was to go ahead. That pub that you may just about be able to see, the crown, would mark where the border of an expansion Heathrow would be. So obviously the remaining houses would face uh, a lot of noise from planes flying overhead and of course uh, that environmental impact as well. Well let's speak uh, to a local who's lived here for a long time and whose house would be under threat if that expansion were to go ahead. Uh, Judy and what, what was your reaction when you heard this, the news this morning? Ecstatic providing it's confirmed that we, the runway is not going ahead. So do you feel like th there's, there's more to come? Because obviously, you know, you guys have faced a lot of legal battles. Do you not feel this is a fork in the road? We've been fighting this war since the 1980s, 1990s. And, uh, yes, I'd like to think this was the terminus, but unfortunately, knowing Heathrow Airport Limited, it probably won't be. They'll probably appeal again and uh, endeavour to get a runway built at some stage. But surely it's a change of tune from the government? I hope so. I just hope so. And I've, I spoke to one person who didn't want to go on camera but said that they understood the business perspective and also thought they could get more money for their house if there was a compulsory purchase order. Is that a mood that you think is reflected here? What do you think about that? Uh, I don't think that's quite true, actually. I think if they sell their house once the airfield wasn't going to be expanded, they would get more money then. At the moment, our house prices have been blighted since the mid-'80s. And, um, yeah, I think you'd get more money if you sold your house now. For instance, the house that's next door to mine is on sale at the moment. Uh, and I think they would get the price they're asking for it if there was no airport blight. But I don't think they'll get within 15% of the price if... The, uh, or in the present state, they can't get a mortgage on the house because, of course, of the uncertainty of the uh, actual, you know, whether it can be, whether it's going to be knocked down or not. OK, thank you very much. Well, there you go. That is uh, one of the views from here in Harmonsworth. And I have to say, uh, there is a, a lot of relief, but as you've heard, the government won't be appealing, but Heathrow, Heathrow say they will. So uh, there is still potentially uh, more to come from here in Harmonsworth. Thank you, Ali. Uh, now, Boris Johnson says he is prepared to walk away from Brexit trade.